Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video today is my planning process and I am going to show you, it's called a plan with me. I'm gonna show you how I plan out my week in my Erin Condren planner and I did make some stickers for myself to go with it. So it's just a hobby that I've really been enjoying and um, I'm sorry if you're here to only watch my grocery hauls and meal planning and such, but I do meal plan in my planner, so I'll show you how I do that. And um, hopefully it's not too boring if you <laughs> if you don't like planning stuff, but um, this is how I organize my life. I try to do it on a Saturday or Sunday before the week starts so that I'm all prepared on Monday for the week ahead. So let's get right into it and I will show you my whole process. All right, so here is the kit that I'm going to be using for the week of the 24th through the 30th. This is a kit that I made myself. This is what it looks like. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I like to do the days of the week first. Oh, you know what I just realized? Oh, that is hysterical. I did not swap out the dates. I just swapped out the uh, pattern. So now I'm gonna have to go back in and do that, but I'm not gonna waste the sticker paper because it's just for me. So I don't think we have a ton going on this next week. which should be, should be good because I just got back from a week being gone and I am tired. So now how am I going to make those dates say the right thing? I will probably just write over the top of them and it won't be as cute, but like I said, I'm not gonna waste the sticker paper. I'll just go into the computer and change that. Okay. So there are the date covers. Now I have this sticker that I'm just gonna put right over the June. It's really just so it matches. It's not because I hate the way that that June looks, but for me, it just looks better with the kit, I think. Um, I always include a little quote box and this one says, both success and failure take work. And I just really liked that. So I think that is true. Everything in life is work. And so if you are successful or failing, failure takes work also. Then I usually do my grocery list. Now I do month long grocery shopping. So I don't need a humongous long grocery list because this is literally just like milk or the few fruits and veggies I need for the week. Um, so that's all the space that I need for that. Then I have two little habit tracker stickers here. So I think what I'm gonna track, the first one I think will be Bible, if I read my Bible. And the second one will be working out, I think. So I'm gonna leave a little space there and I'm gonna write over the top of it. There is that, and so now I think I will do, I will do my dinner stickers next. I like these dinner stickers, because um, this just helps me plan what we're gonna have for dinner. If I have it written out a day or two ahead of time, sometimes I'll do a week in advance, but here lately I have only been doing like two days because our schedule has changed so much with the kids and such, but I might be able to do a week's worth this time because I think it's a pretty chill week. So the kids are all done with ball. Oops, that one's crooked. So I think our schedule that we have for the week shouldn't really change very much, which will be good. Okay, almost done with these. 
Then I will do my water stickers. Now I have a really hard time drinking enough water, so I made myself these water stickers so that I could keep track of it. Um, Cause really, I just feel better when I drink a lot of water. And with the supplements that I take, it's really important that I drink a lot of water. So this just helps me to do that. All right. When I saw this pattern, I really liked it. I, um, it is strawberries and leaves and such, and we are actually going strawberry picking on Monday, which is exciting because we make our own jam from the strawberries and the kids and I go every year. Jason's usually at work, but the kids and I go and we pick them and then that same day we come home and we make homemade jam with them. And we use the cooked jam recipe, but we don't actually process it in the jars. We put it in the freezer. And it is very fresh, delicious tasting jam. I actually still have some from last year, so I don't need to make as much as I did last year, um, which is good, because then we can have more fresh berries just to eat. Okay, that's how I like to do that. Now I'm going to put my checklist down and I will speed that part up for you guys so that you don't have to watch that part, but I like a checklist in every single box. Also made myself these little stickers and I am going to use um, let's see I'm going to use the to do stickers in the middle here that's generally like my housework and that kind of thing and that one usually gets filled up with tasks every oops just ripped that one um, that one usually gets filled up with tasks every single day. Don't mind the kids, they're outside screaming. I think I'm gonna have to use the ripped one, which is okay. If there's a way to fix it, you just have to stick it together. Be crooked but that'll be okay not too bad okay then I usually do let's see these are not the ones I usually make but I didn't want to waste or these are not the ones that I usually use but I didn't want to waste them so I guess I'll do business but really this bottom one is like my personal stuff that I need to get done for the day. So like that's my plexus stuff. Um, that is usually where I will write down, um, like if I myself have any appointments or calls I need to make or stuff like that. This one, this middle one is usually like house and family stuff. And then my top box up there is kid stuff. And for me, I just like to separate it out by three different categories and it just helps me, like when I'm glancing at it, I know which box to look in and it just helps keep it separate for me. 
So since I don't, I only have two of these children stickers, I'm just gonna leave that blank because I know that that's the kids box up there. So this is what the finished kit looks like and I really, really like it. I'm super mad that I forgot to change the dates. So I wonder, which by the way, this is my favorite pen, Paper Make Ink Joy Gel. And it comes in a medium tip and a fine tip, and the fine tip are hard to find, but I like the 0.5, that's the fine tip. So what did we say that that was? What date was that? The 24th? This is probably gonna be disastrous, but. Oh yeah, that looks terrible. Oh my word, that's super annoying. Maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll do the 24th right here. Yeah, that's better. And just leave that alone. Cannot believe I did that. My OCD self is like, that's really annoying. And I don't like my handwriting, so, you know. Well, let's make sure that those dates are correct. Yes, they are. Okay. So that is the finished spread. I will write the few groceries I have. I'm gonna write, let's see. The top one will be working out and the bottom one will be my Bible reading to make sure that I get that right. Okay. Now, I will show you how I keep my, so this is our menu for the month. And so this is basically what I go off of to plan the meals out for the week. So for Monday, um, let's see. I know that we are in desperate need of some vegetables. So I think I might make this Mugu Gaia pan. Ugh, do you hear my family yelling at each other? Um, so, and right here it says that I need mushrooms and snow peas. So I'm gonna go ahead and write mushrooms and snow peas. And then I think because I need broccoli for this one, and I need broccoli for this one and mushrooms, I think Okay, so let's do the Instapot broccoli cheese soup here. So I definitely need broccoli. And then, let's see. So then let's do the, I kind of like, it's similar to this, so I'm trying to like spread it out. So let's do, let's do that on Thursday, the chicken broccoli stir fry. So by my broccoli here, I'm gonna put two, and that, that'll that tell me that I need it for two recipes. So I think we will have how about something totally different? How about spaghetti on Wednesday? on Wednesday and I have everything that I need for that so I don't need to write any ingredients down and then for Friday what do we have going on let's see oh I forgot Tuesday we are going to the Hillsong concert on Tuesday 
I think for Friday I'm just gonna do a leftover night. Um, and if we don't have any leftovers, I can always pick something off of my menu. But I think between these four, we will probably have some leftovers. And then I'm gonna hold off on Saturday and Sunday um, till we get closer and kind of see where we're at. But that is my process. I don't really have anything to write in for Monday yet. Um, although we are going to be picking strawberries on Monday. So I'm gonna go ahead and write make jam. And then some of the things for the kids, like I always want Jericho to practice his piano. They all have to read for 30 minutes. And then I like to read out loud to them a book that we're all reading together. And I just find it reminds me if I constantly look at this all day to not forget to have those things done. Um, and they don't have any activities on Monday, so there's a couple slots open if anything else comes up. So that's my plan for the week. I hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye!